Okay, in this training, we're going to do a real quick overview of how to do residential designs in Helioscope. It's not going to be a full webinar, so if you want to learn more, you can always chat with us, watch some of our videos, or join one of our webinars. In this one, I'm just going to define the default residential profile and create my new project for the location that I want to do. I'm going to create a new design, and that's going to take me into the Helioscope Designer, where I can set my map preference. And if I go to the mechanical section, I can create a new field segment. Basically, what I'm doing here is just defining where I want modules to go on this roof by defining a field segment at the edges. So I just click into the corners of this roof. I hold shift to get 90 degree angles, and I double click to end my shape. That gives me a roof. Now I can search for a module, and it gives me the exact dimensions. And I can right click to set an edge as either top or bottom. Now, if you hold shift and click and drag your mouse, you can view the design in 3D. I have set a height here as well as a tilt, and so you can see how that changes what the, the shape looks like. And if I click recenter view, that'll take me back to top down, and I'm going to go back out to the mechanical section and define a new field segment for this other roof. So double click to end my shape, and I'm going to right click and set this as my bottom edge. So now I've got two roof surfaces. And I'm going to change the orientation of this, the modules here, so you can see them in landscape here. And if I go to the bottom, I can also change the alignment. So between grid and center alignment, you can see how the modules will lay out differently, sort of max out my roof. I'm going to go to keep outs, and I'm going to define where I don't want modules to go. So I'm going to draw a straight line, and I want to say no modules within three feet of the ridge. I'm going to hide all the modules by clicking the showing and hiding array button. And I'm going to draw another keep out for this vent. And I'm just doing a simple triangle, setting a half foot uh, setback and a two foot height. And I'm going to drag these keepouts uh, to all similar objects. So to create a copy, you hold the Alt key and click and drag the object to all similar objects. So just holding Alt, click and drag, and you'll get as many copies as you need. And so there's just one more here on this other roof, so I'll just drag this over. Now, you may also want to define a tree. So we've actually added a tree feature. So if you just click to start the tree, drag your mouse out, and click again, and that will end the shape. You can define a height for that tree. And if you view that in 3D, you can see what they look like. Just like keepouts, I can copy by holding Alt and click and drag to get a second tree. And you can see their exact replicas. I can adjust the height of this new tree manually, or I can click and drag that top part of the tree up and down. OK, so let's uh, recenter our view here. And we can turn off the Keep Out From Shade checkbox that you can see here. That's going to let me max out my roof and put modules in the shade. And now I'm going to do a shade analysis. So I go to Advanced Shading, and I calculate the shading. And I can see how much energy each module loses to shade. And I can set a threshold for my tolerance for shade, in this case, 15%. Now. We also have the ability to right click on keepouts to remove them. So you just, excuse me, in keepout mode, if you right click on modules, you can remove them. And if we go back to the mechanical view, I want to show you just one extra setting here where I can add individual modules in landscape, or I can grab a module or a group of modules and drag them around. If you're interested in that, just chat with us. We can show you how to do that. If you go to electrical, you just define an inverter. And the wiring will be taken care of automatically. So you can save and exit. Export your CAD file here. And I'm going to view this in an external program, just a free CAD viewer. And you can see that it comes with the imagery and the uh, CAD file. But here, I just want to look at the, the layout. And you can see it's a fully 3D CAD file with the spacing of the modules accounted for. Now, the last step is to just go to the Reports tab and click Simulate. That's going to run through the full year simulation, give you some metrics to compare. But if you want to dive in, you click that blue button. That'll take you into the report, where you can download a PDF of this report, which has the energy analysis on top. So you can see the monthly production graph, as well as the losses. And a balance of material for the electrical down here with the inverter and wire content. And then at the very bottom, we've got this image that we can customize if we want to show modules or whatever else. Now, I know I went quickly, so if you had any questions at all, feel free to chat with us down here at the bottom. We have a chat tool. You can connect with us, and we can connect you with additional webinars and additional training if you'd like.